Okay, this is a shredder motor that I took out from a Royal shredding machine. The gear on that shredder broke, but the motor is okay. So I cut out all the wires and took it out, and um, and then I forgot where the wires go and how to make the motor turn. Um, after playing around with it, I finally uh, got the wiring correct, I think. So there are basically four wires. You have the white, the black, and the blue, and the red. So the way I have it hooked up now, uh, the motor will turn clockwise. So let me just power it up. This is AC. So that is turning clockwise. Okay, let's look over here. If you have a similar motor, so the blue wire you connect to one of your AC wire, and the white wire you connect to the AC, and then if you connect the black wire. To the black, uh, to the red wire, the motor will turn clockwise. So, if you want the motor to turn counterclockwise, you connect the black wire to the AC, and blue is again connected to the AC. You connect the white wire this time to the red wire. So, the motor will turn counterclockwise. I know it's a little uh, complicated but if you just pause the video and write this down uh, it should help you in your connection with this particular motor. It will probably work the same if you have another motor that is like this. Basically uh, you have two field coils in series and you have a white wire and a black wire but basically they are in series. So the field coil connect to one of the brushes and the other brush connect to AC and in this case is the blue wire. So when you connect that, and when you connect the uh, black to the red, then it will turn clockwise. And to make it turn counterclockwise, you connect the black wire here to AC, and the blue wire here to AC. Basically, of course, the AC wire is just two wire. This uh, this. Uh, um, neutral and the power and uh, as I was saying if in, in order to make it turn counterclockwise you connect the black to AC, blue to AC and then you connect the white wire you put a jumper on or you put a wire nut you connect the white wire to the red and it will turn counterclockwise Okay, I'm going to reconnect this and uh, try to hook it up so it'll turn counterclockwise. So okay, this time I connected the black wire to one of the AC wire and the blue of course is already connected to the other side of the brush to AC. And this time I connected the white wire to the red. Okay, you might not be able to see it too clearly. And when I apply AC to the motor, the motor will turn counterclockwise. So there it is. That's how it works. And if you have a similar motor, it will 
probably um, work if you connect it uh, the way I have it. But of course you have to be ver very careful because this is an AC motor. It's very high RPM. Probably you have to uh, clamp it down and then don't touch it with your bare hand otherwise you get a shock. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.